oceans I did all my best to smile Till your singing eyes and fingers Sail to me, sail to me, let me unfold you. Here I am, here I am, waiting to hold you. Hey, Drew here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com uh, I'm playing a requested song, someone left this in a video description I apologise, I'm sorry I don't remember your name but I'll make sure I go back and find this once this video is published uh, and the song's called Song to the Siren by Jeff Buckley I'd never heard it before, uh, I'd heard of, um, sorry not Jeff Buckley, probably that's a common mistake, Tim Buckley, his father um, I've obviously heard of Jeff and I'd actually heard of Tim Buckley before but never really sort of listened to too much of his music and as soon as I heard this intro riff uh, I was captivated really really brilliant uh, songwriting and the guitar part at the beginning is very haunting so I'm going to take you through how to play it um, there's uh, I'm going to take you through all the parts so it's finger picked he's not using a plectrum at all um, so if you're ever going to finger pick something you need to know the golden rule with it and that is your thumb only ever plays the E, A and the D string so that's the first three strings down your index finger plays the G string your middle finger plays the B string and your ring finger plays the bottom string, the E if you don't know the names of the strings I use a system called Eddie 8 Dynamite Good by Eddie which is E A D G B E Come up with a system, learn the names of the strings, it's really, really important for your development as a musician and a guitarist. Okay, so that's the golden rule. Try not to cheat it. Don't go using extra mm. fingers on the strings or don't just use your thumb. Use the right fingers, okay? It will pay off huge in the long run. Cool. So the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the finger picking pattern first of all. So that's the sequence that um, Tim uses on his right hand. Okay, so the pinch is thumb and ring finger. So it's pinch, so that means thumb and ring together pulled the same. Okay, I'm just doing it on open strings at the moment. Then middle finger on the B string. And then we're going to re-pinch again. Now that system is, I'm doing it on open strings because then you can just concentrate on your right hand, okay? So it's pinch, middle finger, pinch again, same as before, so that's thumb and ring finger, then middle index. And that's the system that he uses, it's just that the thumb changes what string it pinches every now and then, okay? But I'll take you through when that happens. So it's pinch, middle, pinch, Middle index. Okay, good. You've probably also noticed that I've got a capo here on the second fret. Um, this is to make it sound just like the song. Uh, that riff at the beginning would sound pretty cool even without the capo. So if you don't have one, it's not the end of the world, okay? It just means that um, you won't be able to play along to the song, but you can do your own thing. Um, if you're singing along to it, you can do that, or, you know, it doesn't really matter if you don't have one. Okay, so the first chord is a D. You take your index finger and put it on the uh, G string on the second fret. Everything's in relation to the capo, by the way, so first fret, second fret, third fret. So index finger, second fret on the G, middle finger on the E string on the second fret, and ring finger on the third fret on the B, okay? And that's your D chord. Now what we're going to do also, just to make that, something else we're going to do with that chord is we're going to take our little finger and we're also going to put it on the third fret on the bottom string, okay? So 
that's what you've got. It's a four finger chord. Now you may be thinking, well, I'm not using this finger, so why should I put it down? Leave it there because we're going to need to change to it quickly. Okay? So that's your pinch. You're going to pinch around that chord. Your, your thumb's going to be on the open D string. So it's so that's your pinch middle. And then as soon as you've done that, lift up your little finger to reveal to this middle finger. Okay? Then when you do the next pinch, you're going to be playing the second fret on the E string rather than the third. Okay, so there you go, you're pinching around that chord. You should know what the pattern is on the right hands now. Okay? Now if you're getting any buzzing, that sort of thing, there's three main reasons for fret for um, for sort of choked frets. It's first of all, are you pressing down hard enough? Secondly, are your fingers are the joints locked or are they flat like this? If they're flat like this, then you're going to be touching other strings that you shouldn't be. Next thing, are your fingers on their tips? Are they on their tips here or are they on the flat like that? Okay? Um, and then the final thing is thumb position. You really don't want to grip with your whole hand like this, all right? You want to bring your thumb round the back and pinch down. Okay, so thumb round the back, fingertips, and the last thing actually is don't hold down the fret marker. Hold down in the middle of the fret. Just all really good advice for general making of chords, okay? And, but because we're picking these chords, um, any weaknesses in your chord, you know, any sort of um, dead frets, is going to be exposed. So make sure that you've got these as clean as possible. Okay, good. So I'm just going to take you through that part at the beginning again. Right, so it's pinch, middle, pin, pinch, middle, pinch, middle, index. And then just a the little part I forgot to mention at the beginning, it's ring, middle, index. That's the whole pattern, okay? Pinch, so it's pin, pinch, middle, pinch, middle, index. Ring, middle, index. It's the only part that I didn't do. Okay, so that's the part of the beginning. We're then gonna change, so we've got these fingers here, like this, all right? So we've just lifted this finger up to go to that uh, plain D chord. We're going to bring this finger back down onto the third fret on the E and we're going to bring our middle finger up. So we're going to leave these these two here and we're going to bring our middle finger up onto the A string on the third fret. And that's your next chord which you're going to do the same pattern for. So that's... Okay? And once again though, we're going to have this index finger ready to come down to go to the second fret on the thinnest string. Okay, like we did with the D, where it was the little finger lifting up to reveal to the middle finger, this time it's gonna be little finger first revealing to, you don't have to have this one held down because that's a bit awkward, but you can get it ready to go down to the second fret on the, on the D. So that's a reoccurring theme there. Okay, so that part. Can you hear that bottom string's changing? Okay, and then finally, once again, we're going to bring this little shape back. So we're going to go ring and little finger. And instead of being on the second fret with on the A string, we're now going to go to the uh, second. Uh, sorry, instead of the third fret, we're now going to go to the second fret on the A string. Same pinch. And then, yes, you've guessed it. We then need to come to the second fret on the bottom string. Now this time, we're going to use our middle finger. Okay, so we're going to lift up with a little to reveal to the second fret on the E string with our middle finger. So let's just do that again. So it's little finger down. Okay, and then he finishes with a strummed D. Most of your D is already down from that last chord because we've got that finger up there, right? So we just bring that finger down and then we've got our D and we just strum it with our thumb. Bottom four strings for that chord. Okay. So I'm going to play that intro again very slowly just to summarise everything. Do so make sure you're using the right fingers on your um, picking hand.
And that's your intro. And then the singing starts, okay? So he strums the D and holds it along the float on. And then this strumming pattern comes in, okay? So he's using his thumb, um, and we're making an A chord, okay? Shipless oceans. Now this rhythm pattern, which is kind of like a go-to rhythm pattern you can use throughout the song, it's one and two and three and four and. So he's kind of doing accents, so that's a louder hit with the thumb, on the two and the four. One and two and three and four and. And then every time he changes chords, he's also doing a slightly louder strum. I'll show you what I mean. So we've got this held D at the end. Long a float on shipless oceans. You see, so the next chord is a G, and he's strumming that a little bit louder, okay? So for the A, just in case you don't know how to do it, you hold down the second fret on the D, G, and B string. You make sure you tuck all your fingers in. I use my ring, fi oh, my little finger, ring, and middle to press down there, okay? Just because it's easier to cram all the fingers in the second fret rather than doing that, okay? That's the A. And then it changes to a G. This is how I do a G. Middle finger on the A string on the second fret, ring finger on the third fret on the E string, and little finger on the bottom string. Okay, this is the part that's a little bit tricky for everybody, um, but it strengthens your little finger. It's a great way to do a G. I know many of you are going to do it that way, but I personally think that is much better at building strength in your fingers. So that's the G. Once again, that same rhythm. So it's all just down strums with the thumb. Smile. Then changing to a B minor bar chord. So you take your index finger, press it down on the bottom five strings, okay? Make sure you're pressing down hard, bring your thumb round the back, close to the fret, not on the fret marker, but close to the fret marker. Press down really hard, then put the middle finger down on the, on the third fret on the B, the ring finger down on the fifth fret, sorry, fourth fret, my mistake, on the D, and then little finger down on the G on, also on the fourth fret. And for that chord, you strum the bottom five. Just a smile. Then he goes to a D, back again. A, in fact, it's that sequence repeated. G. B minor. So that order of chords is D, A, G, B minor. It then repeats. And then we've got this chorus, okay? And I'm gonna teach you just a couple of the little ad-libs that he does at the end. Um, I'll try to do that at the end. So we've then got this chorus, so it's D. And you sang, sang. So once again, still making those louder accents on the first hit of the chord change. So that's a C. Sail to me. G slash B. Now, the G slash B, it's the same as the second, as the third chord that we made in the intro. So ring on the third fret, little finger also on the third fret on the B and E string, and then index finger on the second fret on the A string, and we strum the bottom five strings. To me. D. And then B minor. Now he tells, when he goes to this B minor, he takes the volume right down so it's really quiet. So just try to listen to the performance. By the way, I've judged all of this. I don't know if it's the studio recording or not, but if you type in Song to the Siren on YouTube, it's um, a live performance that he did on a 12 string acoustic. So it's B minor. B minor again. A. Waiting to G. back to the intro and it basically does that in three cycles okay so we then just go back to your intro you play through the verse so th through the verse chords through the chorus chords and then cycle it around one last time and then that's the ending okay so um, he ends on the intro with a strum D chord okay so it's quite simple once you've got the hang of that now in the version that I heard he's doing these kind of like little Pick, picking ad-libs and you know I'm not going to go into detail about where he does all of them but I'm just going to show you some of the ones some of the places where you can do it so when we start from this verse Long float on, 
the social. Okay, so it's kind of this little picking pattern where he goes ring middle index and it's played as triplets. So it's long afloat on shipless oceans. So he kind of does three strums, that's four strums. I did all my best to smile. So on the B minor there, the first time you go, you can do the same thing. So it's, so it's ring middle index, ring middle index, ring middle, then changing straight away to the next chord. So it does mean that if you're, um, if you're, if you're a beginner, you're going to find that particularly challenging. Um, but if you've been playing that a little bit longer, those sort of little ads will sound really nice. And it's also a really good way for when you go um, into the chorus. So that drew me loving to your arm and you sang. So you hear as it goes into the D. Okay, so that's Song to the Siren by Tim Buckley. Um, once again, you've got the capo on the second fret there. And I really hope that's been useful for you. Uh, keep on finger picking. If you like these lessons, then go to learnguitarinlondon.com and there is tons more lessons there, like finger pick, strums, beginner's guitar course, um, techniques, that sort of thing. It's, it's my mission, that's what I do, it's my job, and I love, I love playing guitar, and I love teaching guitar even better. So thanks very much for watching. Take care, see you again soon. Bye.